So you find that I am not man enough to make my own decision. Mm. I have to go and consult my mother. Mother mm. says, man, no, it's a no. It's a no. Even if the wife says yes. 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 Or whereby you see some people also, uh, they are summoned at home, mm. and you find that you have been waited by a delegation mm. of your sisters and brothers mm. and your parents, mm. and the subject is to talk about your wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, that is so humility. Mm. Mm. You see, mm. you've been summoned mm. and they are coming to talk things that you know very well. Mm. They are neither here or, or there. Or, or even you come and your wife is the subject of an kwa pare and they are saying that they don't want this, they don't want this, and you are there. Mm. Now, I want to say that is very, very wrong. There was a conflict in a marriage. Yeah. So this guy, he doesn't talk to the wife. All He's right. not ready to solve the issue. Then I'm better by the way to end the home weekend. Fine, I'm going to greet my, my parents you can get together. Nini. Yeah, yeah. Then they drive to the village. Bibi Aju kuna shida nini. Kufika uko. There are councils of elders. Mm. So we've called you here today because you people know what is happening. So everybody knows what's happening apart from her. Yeah, I'm going to come from I'm going to be there. So I'm now. Kuna committee. Mm. So mm. Uh, maybe Mama Nani, you can tell us what's happening here. Like. Mimi, eh, what What's is happening? happening? Yeah, no, you, 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 our brother Your has come to has us. Your husband has been complaining. She has complaining, you are no longer a wife. This is what you do, you no longer have sex with her. So, Nansa Kushanga, even bedroom secret issues are now your mother is away, your brother is away, your cousins are away. Everybody's now aware about that. Now, it's no longer, is that even third party or a hundred party in so the marriage? In sasa, such a situation, in, yeah, in such a situation, <laughs> in a kuanga, the guy who is looking for an excuse mm. for mischief. Oh my yes. When people are looking for excuses for mischief, eh. they call committees that you don't know about it. And then, most of it, then yeah. during that time, he will not speak. Sasa, we are not going to speak. The husband is just there. Yeah. And then whatever will be decided in that committee. Is final, and it mostly is against your wife. Obviously, they can, it cannot be so. Mm. That you're no longer doing this. If you are not able to do this, then you tell us if you are tired. Number two, you don't support your, our, our brother in this and this. If you're not ready to support him as a wife, then tell us. Oh, yes. Number three, we are told that you you are always this this this. You go out. Mm -hmm. nini, nini. So you are a community mm. wife. So you are like, hey, why did you tell me these things? Mm. And so that parties have really caused a lot of pain and a lot mm. of separation and divorce, mm. a lot of regrets, a lot yeah. of bitterness. Mm. Yeah, because we wa we weren't taught how to handle them, and we are also not willing to learn how to handle them. Mm. I would also think also an ex is also a third party. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. Actually, you are former girlfriend. You are former boyfriend. Mm -hmm. He's actually a third party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want us to. I want us to discuss this in details. Yes. You find that I had a someone before mm -hmm. before she came in my she life. In life so now we are together mm -hmm. so we have this lady i assure there's nothing there is nothing between just me and this friend. lady. She's just, she's just an ex. Mm. And then after all, I'm now with you. Why are you worried about her? Mm. Even if we meet, you're just mm. friends. What is the... That, did you ever have an ex in your life? Or he's your first... And, and... Oh, yes. You had an mm. ex? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. So yes. you communicate with the ex? I don't communicate at all. Mm -hmm. I even don't know her number. <laughs> <laughs> no, I even don't know where she stays. Mm. We don't even meet. Because I, the moment you still keep com commenting and communicating with the, with the ex, you'll mm. always see something wrong with your current. Mm. Yeah. I don't even follow her on any social media, yeah. whether on Facebook, uh, Twitter, mm. we don't. Mm. Once I knew that I'm not marrying that girl, mm. and, and, and it was very clear we are not moving that direction, mm -hmm. immediately I cut off all the communication. Mm -hmm. I don't visit. I don't want to know anything about her. Mm -hmm. I know that I hate her. Mm -hmm. It is because I know the word of God. Yeah. What it says mm -hmm. about me and my wife today. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I choose to follow the word of God rather than the human wisdom and understanding and all that. Mm -hmm. And so to me, I'm done with that and I'm here. 
and all my energy and my focus mm. is with her. Yeah. Oh, yes. Exactly. And, and, and I think I mm. think these people give us divided attention. Yes. And then also unapata maybe someone has more than one ex. Two, three, mm -hmm. four, and they still talk. And in fact, they ask you, "How is your wife?" Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you begin So you begin discussing your wife because there's someone who was in your life. Yes. You shared things with her, and she knows even your likes and your dislikes. So what are you trying to bring that conversation? <laughs> Actually, you, are you are trying to introduce a, a, a negative energy. You are making me energy. think that uh, this third party thing mm. eh, and this ex thing is the level of emotional maturity ya huyu jamaa or the will, the lady mm. that allows all these things because if mm. you are a person who is grounded mm. there is a space you cannot allow people inside mm. like a, a discussing your you, however bad your partner is yes. for the sake of integrity and mm. dignity of your family yes there is an extent you cannot go However, bad is performing. Mm. You'll always package mm. it well mm. to to show people that where I am, mm. I'm happy even without you. In and I agree with what you are saying. Yes. Mm. Anyone entertaining that kind of discussion, mm. yes, or someone drag you to discuss their partner in a negative way, mm -hmm. they are not helping you. They are not helping. You don't even require or need yes. such kind of friends mm. or relationship. If any time we are meeting with my cousin, with my friend. She is talking to me about negative things about my wife. Mm. I will not meet with them. I will not have coffee with them. Mm. I will not even visit them. I will cut mm -hmm. off that relationship. Wow. Because mm. them, they are happy in their family. Mm. I don't discuss negative things about their wow, husband mm. and about their wife. Mm -hmm. So, why are they bringing those devils to me? Actually, I think it's, uh, yeah. it's irresponsible. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how I honestly, I, respectfully, I see it. Mm -hmm. It's very irresponsible mm -hmm. to gossip or discuss your partner, your partner yeah. with a, a, an opposite sex. Not even opposite Behind sex. The, any, uh, any, 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 any person, person even if it's your mother. Any body. Maybe that's your best friend. Yes. yes. It's not the right. same thing. boss, Wangu is very understanding, is a spiritual guy. You go to them to discuss your partner. And your partner doesn't know about the issue. Mm. They don't know mm. his the agenda of the topic. That is a level that's, of... That, that's mm. infidelity, by that the way. Mm. That's infidelity <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. if I can go and confide in someone, I cannot tell you that your managu is not well prepared, but I can tell somebody else that your managu is f uh, badly prepared. <laughs> <laughs> that means I am confining this person better than you. Mm. Yes. I trust this, per this person better mm. than you. So I also think that when we talk about third parties, like uh, our exes, mm. it, no it does not only mean uh, ladies, but also men. Mm. So also if I have my boys around me, that I think they were my company, I used to yes. around with them. My 90% of my time I was always with them. When I get mm. married, I need to cut that. Mm. Define your boundary and yeah. then have now say by the guy buddies. So in the in the in fact, most mm. of the, I had a, I had a someone that we were we were trying to advise and talk to them and mm. counsel. Mm. Because this man after he got married, he had a, a, a group of men, mm. boys, they used to go for football. bash, football, mm. you know, <laughs> movies and all that. And after getting married, mm. the same guys and they're almost 10 they come and sleep in the same house. What? Almost 10. Yeah, so because now him is the, the, a two-bedroom <laughs> house, so what they used to do, they used to sleep in the table room. So, ame watafutia mattresses. You get the point, wengine ame wanunuria whatever, or carpet. And so the, those days when the, when the men would come Friday, Saturday, mm. and Sunday, mm. the, those three days, the wife cannot see the husband because now the husband cannot stay in the bedroom with the wife. He has to come and stay with the boys. What? And then he tells them, but before even I married you, I had these people. So it was a tug of war. It's, it's and that really marriage insane. was really strained. And the man didn't seem to understand. He, he saw like the lady was, uh, was overreacting, doesn't want his friends. But I think that's the, what we are talking about. Mm. That party, if you are not very careful to put boundaries, as Barry has said, mm. they are likely to be used. Mm. Uh, you, you can use them to destroy your own marriage. Exactly. Yeah, so you can imagine such 10 men in your house and you're just newly married. Mm -hmm. So instead of having sex with your husband, they, he, he's with them at night ah. watching movies, drinking coffee. It was a terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah, so when we talk about third parties, it's not necessarily family or friends. It can also be things. Mm. It can also be the job we do. Mm -hmm. Especially we've been having men who said they have been called. Mm -hmm. All right. A man and a woman who do okay? And the guy goes to a mountain almost one month. 
mm. going to seek God. Three months. Yeah, three months. Mm. He's fasting, so mm. no sex for one week. Yes. I want don't communicate myself. So unapata, this person mm. spiritually yaki me a third party. <laughs> and if you try to interfere na someone, you na interfere na mungu. You see, mimi wini mungu. You are opposing God. Mm, so what is this? Or maybe going for a mission, one mission after the other. Hey, one mission. And this is something that we have said already, mm. but I need to emphasize. Yes. The solution for mm. third parties mm. in marriage, mm. it is mentorship. Mm. Wow. If wow. you don't want to go to expose your data linear mm. to the public, mm. to your relatives, mm -hmm. to your friends, mm. oh, yes. you require a mentor. Mm -hmm. wow. mm. mentor. And any marriage without mentorship, mm. it's true. no matter how good it is, mm. the enemy will attack. Yeah. Daddy, maybe somebody is wondering, who are these mentors? Are they the pastors, counselors, information, podcast? Who are these mentors that has this information? Maybe? Mentors are people like you and me, uh, people who understand better yes. the role of a husband, the role of a wife, mm -hmm. this journey about marriage. They may not be educated so much, uh, like maybe you are educated, mm -hmm. they may not have the money that maybe you have, mm -hmm. because that might not be the qualification of a, of, of a good mentor. Mm -hmm. One can have a lot of money, but they may not help you in marriage. Oh, One yes. can be a professor mm -hmm. or a doctor, mm -hmm. but he is struggling a lot <coughs> in marriage. Yeah. So when you're thinking about mentorship, mm -hmm. it is beyond finances, mm -hmm. it is beyond um, you know, all these things that people talk about. So you shouldn't be able to look, number one, um, what is their belief? Ah, what do I mean in any? You know, what track record do they have with one wife, with one husband? If they are parents, have they been raising their children? Can we talk about these people and, 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 and who are they? Wow. So, uh, you have to look at the inner value. Wow. You have to look at, uh, you know, what do they believe in? What do they, about especially marriage, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. What do they stand for? Mm -hmm. So, these are some of the things that you'll be thinking about oh, when yes. you're talking about a mentor. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily uh, your pastor. Mm -hmm. You can have a pastor, but maybe on that line of mentorship, mm -hmm. yeah. He might not maybe be qualified. qualified. Let, let me say something. <laughs> <laughs> let, 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 let me just, and I'm talking about I, I want to mention specifically names. about marriage. Yes. Mm -hmm. You get it? Eh? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I want to mention names. <laughs> yeah. There was a place we were fellowshipping. Okay. And the biggest mistake you'll ever do is share your marital issues with your pastor. Mm. Okay. Because the whole church will know about it. Right. Yeah. Okay. In two ways. If you One, he'll come on the pulpit. He not mention name, but he just say, hey, there are some people. No, I'm a washinda. Unashanga wali olekana kwa nini? Watu wako na ujinga suju bibi ajui kupiga and you took your wife there just for advice. He advised me at the end of the day, he'll come and preach. Number two, whenever he meets any brother, yes. then he'll be like, eh, do you know brother Joseph? Usimwenenga tia nabiyeko na ufraya, but watu wako na shida kwa ndawa yao. They have been coming to my house. We have solved issue until midnight in my house. Yeah. These people, in fact, that wife is thick. So, he so I like begin. I like I like how Daddy has put it. Mm. He doesn't have grace in that area. Yeah, so maybe he has grace in finance or mm. other things, mm. but yeah, when exactly. it comes to family, maybe mm. he doesn't just understand. Yeah, and then for what, what you've said, those those options, mm. confidentiality is also a very big issue. Yeah. Uh, and you see also, uh, to me, I think uh, that's the way I like it. Mm. Like for instance, my wife and I. Mm. We have got a number of people mm -hmm. who are our mentors. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not one, mm -hmm. not two. Mm -hmm. People that we talk to. Mm -hmm. People who you, talk to you, us. You who are mentors also have mentors. Oh yes. yes. Wow. The reason why we are what we are today yes. is because there are people who speak in our life. Oh, there yes. are people who guide us. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they are not in the church where I pastor. Mm -hmm. You understand? No, no, eh? yeah. no, they are not in the church where I pastor. Mm -hmm. They are outside there. Mm -hmm. People who are elder than me. Mm -hmm. And I have intentionally, mm -hmm. or we have agreed with my wife, mm -hmm. to choose people who are a little bit elderly mm -hmm. than we are. Because mm -hmm. some people, they have got uh, um, friends who they call mentors, mm -hmm. but when they are rebuked on something, they get offended. Mm -hmm. Now, that's not a mentor. That's you not, are cheating yourself. 
if, if your mentor rebukes you and you get angry, mm. it's a sign. That's not a mentor. Mm. Okay? If your mentor calls you and you tell him that you cannot go, that's not a mentor. You're very true. Mm -hmm. If your mentor calls you and you get offended, that is not a mentor. Very true. A mentor will tell you what you don't want to hear, but the right way, beberikari. Yes. Mm. You get it. They are profitable, but they are not comfortable. To they stay are with. profitable, but they may not be comfortable to stay. to stay with. So the colleague you work with, or the same guy you went to the same school with, and you call them mentors, and you, you take a beer with them, those are not mentors. They are crab partners. You need to differentiate. All right? Yeah, a mentor will tell you, stop taking alcohol. It will destroy your children. Yes. It will destroy your life. Yes. Nobody has become richer by taking alcohol. Yes. A mentor will tell you, the Bible talks about one wife. What are you doing, this what are you doing with your translation? Mm. Three wives, four wives. Mm. That is translation. <laughs> Come out of translation. I said the word of God says mm. in the book of Mark yes. that you destroy mm. the word of God because of your translation. Mark 7 wow. verse 13. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Daddy, yes. He has said something so very vital for every family mm. that if you don't have a mentor mm. or rather an authority figure because these people must be credible enough to mm. earn the, the status mm. you are you might be headed for an uphill task yeah. so you need to find somebody who is credible enough to be someone to look up to mm. Mm. Wow. as we look up to them amen yeah. and each day we put intentional efforts towards growing towards learning a new thing a new mm. concept towards learning learning about each other amen. who is this person i'm married to? Yeah. apart from being salano who is funny mm. there is a huge aspect of him that i need to learn so Wonderful. that i live with him yeah. so we need to have those intentional mm. efforts of getting these people Credible people, we say credible. I really like that. Yeah. See, social media, my celebs. That we get, we get mentors in social media. Some yes. people are like uh, Nani, uh, Nani Kanye West. He's hey. my mentor. Now, <laughs> they have never met. Oh, they oh, don't oh, know you. You have a mentor yeah. who is in UK <laughs> and you're in Kenya. Yeah. And you're calling that one you are? And you have never met. And you don't know each other. You only follow them on social media. Even, like, even, even spiritually. Yeah. You find there's people who say, My spiritual father mm. is in Canada. Mm. you know and you have never met even he doesn't know you you know if you have a problem he, he can't even be able to help you yeah. and you're talking about a spiritual father who is miles and miles away why wow, there's so many people around you who can help you yeah. and you are could you be learning away in a very wise way mm. you understand yeah. and so to me when you're talking about mentor mm. uh, you have to be naked and not ashamed Wow. Naked and not mm. ashamed. If before you are mentor, you cannot be naked and not mm. ashamed. That is not a mentor. Wow. You have to tell him everything. Mm. Eh? Mm. Eh? You get it, eh? Vile ambavyo alikuita majina ambao ulikuwa unaitwa ukiwa mtoto kama hujatahiriwa. You get it, eh? You have to tell your mentor those things. If you are not Exactly. So you need an, a mentor for you to have a good marriage, for you to have to avoid this third parties coming in your marriage. Mm. So, as we just come to the end of this show, I want us, each of us just to give final words and then we call it a, a show. Marriage is an institution that involves two people, a husband and a wife, who are male and female, who realize that they are not perfect, but they submit their lives to a perfect God to perfect them. I want to say this, it is important for us to invest in mentorship and in knowledge and more importantly, on the word of God. God bless you. See you again. The show has been a blessing to me and to you. And we've realized that anything that takes time, life and energy from our union or marriage or, or you can call it relationship, that should be treated as a third party. And before we contact or run to a third party, we need to 
see to it that these people are credible enough? Do they mean well for our unions? Or maybe there is also an importance that is coming out and, and highlighted importance of having mentors or people, authority figures for in our families, in our unions. So you can have people whom you call pastors, you can find these people in big authority figures, counselors or therapists. As long as they have a balanced perce perception towards marriage, you can, uh, you can direct your issues to them. But most, mostly before you run to someone else, see to it that you can sort it out with your partner. If it is overwhelming, Try and see the will of God concerning the issue. You will get a clarity of direction and you will find that the next step you will be taking will be easier and will be the one that is beneficial for both of you. Be blessed and thank you for always tuning in. May God continue to bless your families abundantly. The reason why God gave you that family is because God knew very well that you will be responsible and accountable for every decision that you make as the hand of the family don't allow that party into your marriage be it business partners friends relatives if your partner is not comfortable you need to adjust you need to do it differently you need God in your family and not those other many people that you are bringing. Again, I want to remind you that the reason why you must have a good marriage, remember your children are watching you. They want to see what a good family is all about. Would they, uh, would they prefer to have a family like, like your family today? So choose to do it and do it the right way so that they can learn from the best mother and the best father and that is who you are. God bless you. I know you have learned so much from the show today and has been full of lessons. One thing you need to pick as men is that uh, when we marry, this lady only knows us in this family. She's a stranger. She doesn't know your mother. She doesn't know your brothers. So whenever there's a conflict, let's always find a way on how to stand with her, defend her and fight for her, not going to fight uh, against her so that you may be able to build this family together and stand together so above all let us get very strong boundaries around our families around our marriages so that we know who is coming in as a helper or as a destroyer above all get a mentor get a role model who will help you to grow in your marriage and someone you can confide in to help you solve those issues in your marriage until next time this is naked and not ashamed show